Did you know that it's possible to charge a cell phone with a candle? This can be done thanks to a process known as thermoelectricity, and it works like this. Back in the 20s, um, the 1820s, German physicist Thomas J. Seebeck found that when two dissimilar metals are at different temperatures and they are touching, they produce an electromotive force, or voltage. This is because the change in temperature causes electrons and other charged carriers to jump from the hot side to the cold side, causing a current. So, hot metal plus cold metal equals power. And because of this theory, you can use a heat source such as a candle to heat the metal and produce enough energy to charge small electronics, such as a cell phone, or um, a wireless telegraphy talkie box. This process is known as the Seebeck effect, but who actually uses it? Well, fast forward a century later and you'll see Seebeck's creation used in space probes, automobiles, and businesses trying to reduce their carbon footprint and eliminate global warming. But the Seebeck effect is only half of the thermoelectric effect. Let's rewind back to 1834 when French physicist Jean Peltier found that the reverse of the Seebeck effect is also true, where if you pass a current through the different metals, the temperature of one side increases while the other decreases. This discovery is known as the Peltier effect and is often seen today in cooling computer processors, in car powered drink coolers, and in USB powered coffee warmers, the scourge of the holiday season. Well, that's the basics of thermoelectricity, and while not completely mainstream, thanks to these two guys, our future doesn't have to rest on the fate of fossil fuels. So the next time someone asks you for a cell phone charger, hand them a candle and say, Seabex got you covered.